guys it's symphony and welcome to my channel don't mind my hair is still drying but for today's video i'm going to be doing a review on the new revlon color stay satin ink liquid lipstick and well excuse me liquid lip color uh, that's a mouthful but i saw this on tiktok the other day and i saw that megan stallion was uh promoting it so i was like if meg likes it then i have to try it right so yeah let's get into it so as per usual we don't do crusty lips so i'm going to start off with a lip oil And I did my makeup natural-ish today, but still, I guess, glam, just because this is a bright lip color. But um, if you guys want to see a tutorial on this look, let me know in the comments. You could just type natural look or natural tutorial or something like that. I know I've done a couple of uh, natural videos or like natural makeup videos on my channel, but um, I'm not going to deprive you guys. So if you want to see it, just let me know. Um, I use different things for each video, so, but anywho, that's not what this video is about. This video is about this. So I got the shade Fire and Ice. It looks pretty bright, um, on the packaging or whatever. I don't know if this is like the actual color inside here or if it's just like the packaging, but, um, I chose a brighter color cause you guys know I usually do like nude pinks and things like that. So, I figured for this, I would try a brighter color. So, I'm just going to see. I'm pretty sure this is matte. So, yeah, it looks like it's going to be matte. This is what the applicator looks like. I don't know if y'all can see. But, just your standard, I guess. It's got a little curve to it. Oh yeah, this color is very bright. Um, I'm not sure if the lip oil has anything to do with it, but so far it feels pretty buttery, like in general. So, cause I didn't put on a lot of lip oil. Yeah, it feels pretty buttery. It doesn't feel like gritty or anything like that. Okay, so the color is on. So far, it's looking good. Um, I'm gonna let it dry a little bit and then I'm gonna do a couple tests for you guys, so. Okay, so, so far, I'm not really sure about this one and I'm close up because I wanna show you guys. It's kind of breaking up a little bit if I like do this, so. I'm not sure. Maybe I just need to like leave it alone until it dries. Okay, so at this point, I'm not really sure if it's supposed to dry or if it's supposed to stay like, I hate this word, but moist. <laughs> so I'm gonna do a bottle test and a kiss test just to see, but like, I'm pretty sure, like it's not, as you can see, it's still like pretty, well, not super wet, but it's still like moist, almost like a lip gloss. So I'm not sure if it's supposed to dry or not, but. Yeah, it definitely comes off if you. Now I'm just gonna do a water bottle test. As you can see, there's some on the water bottle. Not a whole lot, but definitely had some come off when I did a kiss test. So I think now I'm going to take this off and try it again, but without the lip oil. Cause I feel like, I don't know if that like, like the mixture like affected the integrity of the color. So we're gonna see. Okay, so it's off my lips. I'm just gonna go in without anything. Um, usually with the matte 
types of things or like liquid lipsticks i try to put something on beforehand to moisturize my lips because i want my lips to look like all dry like with the product on but i'm like everything else i want to give it a fair shot so i'm going to try again without anything and see if that makes a difference because i feel like the oil may have had an effect on the way the color looked so okay so right off rip i'm noticing that the color looks a lot less um reddish <clears throat> Now it's looking more like a corally pink color. So there's that. Um, that made a difference. Also, when I was taking the um, lipstick off of my hand with uh, micellar water. I know I'm probably not saying that right. But when I was taking it off, I noticed that I was kind of having a hard time. And as you can see, there's still a little bit of residue there. Or like a little bit of a stain. So that's a decent sign. I'm gonna, again, let this dry and then we'll do a kiss test and a water bottle test. At this point, it feels pretty dry. Um, my lips don't feel super dry though, which is good, but the lipstick itself feels dry. So we're gonna do our test. Oh, would you look at that? Not really much coming off on my hand there. I don't know if you guys can see that well, but not really much coming off on there. I'm gonna do a water bottle test again. Uh, as you can see, there's not much more on there. The little bit that's on there is from the first one. I would definitely say that the second one definitely made a difference. Uh, like I said, I didn't put on my lip oil or anything the second time. Overall, I would say this is a pretty decent product. I mean, once I... I was a little doubtful um, at first, but once I took it off and tried again without the lip oil, I think the lip oil, like, really, like, affected it and made it... Like I said, it was, like, coming off, like, breaking up and, like, just not it. But without it... I'm feeling it. Um, the color is pretty nice. I'm not usually a bright lip kind of gal, but I think this is a good color. Um, I think it looks nice with the natural look. Again, if you guys want to see this particular natural look, then let me know in the comments. Like I said, you can put natural look or natural tutorial or anything like that. But with that being said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time like a funnel cake that's that's the first thing it tastes like a funnel cake i can taste the uh like the strawberry syrup in it